Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Career. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to talk about HTTP live streaming and how to create a master playlist file for HTTP live streaming. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and continue watching the video. Okay, thanks for subscribing to my channel. So now let's get started. To make a master playlist file for HLS, I mean HTTP live streaming, you have to install FFmpeg to your machine first. I, I have already installed FFmpeg in my computer and I'm using a video as an input video which will be used to generate the master playlist file and all necessary segments and index playlist file for each quality of video. I will be using this input.mp4 file which is basically a 1080p video file as in for HTTP live streaming I will use this 1080p file to generate two different quality of streaming one is 720p another is 360p so this is a 1080p video I will generate segments for 720p and 360p and the main feature of HTTP live streaming is when the internet speed or bandwidth is lower it will automatically detect the perfect video quality like YouTube and this input the mp4 and the command I will be using here is this I have already shared the link and this is the ffmpeg command which will be used to generate the master m3 weight file and all necessary segments and playlist files so I am copying the command here I will explain later what is the meaning of this command so now let's generate the master m3 bit file first okay so i'm opening my terminal and checking if there are any file here as you can see the input to temp4 is here so no more file is here so after running my command i'll see what happens ffmpeg hyphen y means yes for all hyphen i means input and input, input is input dot mp4 and bdpc is slow and other necessary flags and map 0 and map 1 is basically for two different stream here i am using 720p and 360p i have defined the resolution map 0 map 1 hyphen s colon p colon 0 means screen of video which is mapped by 0 so since the two map is used here map 0 and map 1 so hyphen s colon v colon 0 means the first map which is defined 720p the resolution is 1280 multiplied by 720p and bitrate of video is 8 50 kilo means kbps 850 kbps and again screen of map 1 which is the second map here is 360 the resolution is 630 multiplied by 360 and the bitrate is 555 and codec for audio for both map is aac and bar stream map is used to name the folder and the master playlist name is master.mcuit hls time is 10 that means every ts file the segments file will be 10 seconds long and since the video is already recorded so the hls playlist type is vod hls list size is 0 and hls segment file name is number of the segment dot ts and output file for each quality like 720p or 360p will be positioned on the same folder the index file for each quality is placed on the folder okay here percentage b means the bar stream map pressing enter on my terminal so that the command can run so as you can see ffmpeg is running on the machine this will take some time based on the powerful computer 
so i will share the command in the description of video you can check that out so first of all you have to install ffmpeg if you so my ffmpeg just finished processing the video is very short that's why it finished very quickly so if i go to my directory now as we can see before running the command we had only one file which is input.md4 now we have two folder and one master playlist file which is our intention here so i'm deleting the input file this is not necessary anymore so i'm deleting this and the master playlist file um, i have opened the master playlist file and it, it is saying in the ectm3 eu and the main part here is when the bandwidth is relatively higher the resolution of the video will be 720p the codec will be advanced video codec which is default codec for hls and when the quality of video is higher the player will select the following file which is a relative directory 720p slash index.mp index.m3 await okay so i am going to that directory 720p slash index.m3 await 720p and as you can see here here are two files one is index.m3 await and after opening this we can see here we have one segment file name which is very first segment since the video is very short and we have set segment duration is 10 seconds so we have gotten one segment if we had multiple video was very long we will have something like like this okay so the segment long 0.ts which is basically a transport stream file designed for hls pretty much like ampervore so now i'm running my apache server here to access the master m3 with file so that you can understand how it works yes the apache server is running and since the video is already placed on server htdocs folder and apache server is on i am opening my microsoft edge browser and putting the path here sorry this is not the path this is the path of the video and let's see what happens we can play hls video on chrome too let's play on chrome so if you want to play hls video on chrome we have to install a chrome extension named native hls playback i've already added it to my chrome and playing it so the video url is this one for my server localhost slash hls server slash master dot m3 u8 so i'm pressing enter as you can see the video is not that good quality but the video i have used to generate the file was very high quality this is because maybe my bandwidth is not that high or mainly not detected so this is how you can generate the master m3 file and the link of the command gist file is already shared in the video description if you clearly understand the command you will understand how ffmpeg and hls can work great together and thanks for watching if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel so that i can get motivated and create more more video like this thanks a lot for watching my videos